A 55-year-old man is being treated for an atrial arrhythmia with a class 1A antiarrhythmic. He complains of dry mouth, blurred vision, and urinary hesitancy. Which antiarrhythmic drug is he mostly like taking? Option A. Lidocaine. B. Quinidine. C. Amiodarone. D. Disopyramide. Antiarrhythmic drugs help control arrhythmias or abnormal heartbeats. There are four main groups of antiarrhythmic medications, class 1, sodium channel blockers, class 2, beta blockers, class 3, potassium channel blockers, class 4, calcium channel blockers, and miscellaneous antiarrhythmics, or unclassified antiarrhythmics. We'll focus on class 1 antiarrhythmics which are further broken down into 1A, 1B, and 1C. All three groups work on sodium channels in the cardiac myocytes, so class I medications are also called sodium channel blockers. Class 1A antiarrhythmics inhibit the sodium channels and the potassium channels on atrial and ventricular myocytes and cells of the Purkinje fibers. Now common drugs in class 1A include quinidine, procainamide, and disopyramide. All three drugs can be used to treat both supraventricular and ventricular arrhythmias, but should be avoided in people with heart failure since they have a negative enotropic effect on the heart and could lead to hypotension. In addition, procainamide is very effective in treating Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Since these drugs prolong the QD interval, they can trigger a type of arrhythmia called torse de points. For other side effects, quinidine can cause synchronism, which include headaches, tinnitus, and blurry vision. Long-term use of procainamide can cause systemic lupus erythematosus. And finally, disopyramide has anticholinergic side effects and could cause hypotension, dry eyes, dry mouth, and urinary retention. Therefore the answer is option D. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.